Let's take a look at the nominees. Digital Creativity Misfits Misfits has a huge following on Twitter with over 300,000 followers across all of its accounts. The show is also constantly ranked as Channel 4's most tweeted about programme with over 26,000 tweets during the broadcast of each episode. Misfits and Misfits related keywords frequently trended globally and across the UK during transmission. Dreams of your life This morning. We're proud to be changing the face of daytime TV with our cross-platform TV firsts. We created an entire week of interactivity driven by viewers, including the first ever live viewer control 360-degree camera. Real-time voting helped shape our debates via Skype. Viewers have cooked with Gino, been offered Dr. Chris's medical advice, reviewed films with Eamon and Ruth, and received help from Agony Aunt Denise. Via the hub, anyone can be part of the This Morning family. Live from the clinic. Welcome to Embarrassing Bodies Live from the Clinic, where you can get instant medical advice via a webcam without even having to leave your sofa. I'm Dr Dawn Harper. And I'm Dr Chris and Jessen, and the clinic is open. 316,000 users registered, taking 3 million tests, and during the six-week series, my video doctor saved the NHS up to £323,000. And the BAFTA goes to... I'm getting it out of there. Oh. Steph Harris, Dan Jones, Sandra Gorrell, and Adam Gee for Live from the Clinic. Thank you, BAFTA. Um, huge thank you to Channel 4, specifically um, Adam G, and um, to a phenomenal um, production team, both in the multi platform side and the television side, and an incredible medical team led by Dr. Norman Harper and Dr. Kristen Jessen. Very well done, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. What do you think made your work stand out? Uh, I've stopped you with the opening <laughs> question, haven't I? <laughs> stopped you right. instantly. <laughs> uh, with everything, I mean, it's, it's amazing to stand here because actually when you're going through something that's not been tried before, um, it was very, very scary because actually nobody had done a live show where people were sort of Skyping in with medical conditions. I mean, you know, people have Skyped in, but not with medical conditions from their own home in and out of hours, sort of, with two doctors who are not, you know, sort of TV, natural live TV presenters. So uh, that was um, really daunting, but that was obviously the innovation. So I think that's what sort of set us apart was, um, was that. What was the most difficult, difficult aspect then? Was it the, the live nature? Mm -hmm. Was it, uh, dare I say, some of the things you were trying to diagnose or that were coming in? You know, what, what I think was it's, tough? Uh, balancing the technology of uh, doing something over Skype that's you know, not built for TV and broadcast, is built as a, a free service for grandparents to talk to their kids in Australia and that sort of thing. Uh, balanced with doing a live show, uh, 8 p.m. on Channel 4, sort of careful about what we're trying to do, as well as asking people to share their most intimate bits uh, <laughs> live and take that through for an hour every week for the first yeah. time. So it's it quite a risky thing, but uh, yeah. really appreciate that uh, to get the awards because it's sort of paid off now. We've got second series and it's starting it's to feel week. much more polished now. Yeah. So, so will you be doing so things differently or has the approach worked from the first time I think uh, everything feels a bit more supersized this time that uh, we feel more comfortable with the limitations and what Skype can do or what it can't do. Um, contributors have seen the show. They're, they know what to expect from it. Uh, and I think just everyone having done it once before, there was it's almost like six pilots now feels like a big series. Uh, and I think, obviously, we are here tonight to celebrate, you know, the craftspeople behind television programmes. A lot of, a high percentage of this programme relied on people sitting in their living rooms with webcams and, you know, limited broadband, and uh, we were getting them to sort of try <laughs> and direct, so it's not IMAX, it's Skype, you know, so it's quite interesting the way that things are sort of moving. I would imagine that sometimes it, it's a godsend that Skype, it can't be too clear in some situations. You don't want to focus <laughs> for you too, too close on some of those ailments. <laughs> the only other thing as well, I think oh, one of our finest moments was the, uh, the talking penis. 
yeah. where actually the camera <laughs> froze on, uh, it just the Skype froze on a man's nether regions and but you could still hear the audio <laughs> we were like yeah it was oh, get it off sure a talking that was a penis at eight o'clock on yeah. channel four that's the first <laughs> particular challenges there well look good luck with the next yeah, series and you. congratulations tonight thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much Thanks.